Hello and welcome to Bahia Dress Network. Please subscribe to this channel and share the links of the videos so that other people can hear the messages. Please don't just watch but subscribe to the channel and share the videos. We are going to begin with the prayer. Precious Lord, we thank you for your mercies. Thank you because you have, you have been so faithful to us that even during the time of crisis, pandemic, your mercies and your love is not failing us. Lord, we give you glory and honor. Continue, Lord, to keep us healthy and strong. May the blood of Jesus cover us and our families. As we listen to the message of this video, I pray that you may bless us with your spirit, bless us with your presence, and may you lead us through. Bless all those, the viewers who are going to view this video. I pray and ask in Jesus' name. Amen. The title of this message for the video is Foreshadowing the Coming Crisis. Foreshadowing the Coming Crisis is the title of this video. Let's begin by reading from 1 Chronicles chapter 12, verse 32. And it reads, And of the children of Issachar, which were men that had an understanding of the times, to know what Israel ought to do, the heads of them were two hundred, and all their brethren were at their commandment. Now the focus in this verse is on the children of Issachar, which were men that had an understanding of the times. Not only did they understand times, but they also knew what Israel ought to do at every particular time. Now it is very important to understand the times because if you understand the times in which you live, then you understand, you know what to do. Even today, if you understand that we live in serious times of the earth's history, you will watch for signs of the end and you will not miss any of those signs. Many signs of the end are before us. The question is, do you see the signs? Do you even understand the signs? I told you, the title of this video or the message is Foreshadowing the Coming Crisis. Did you know that movies, cartoon programs and books are at many times used to foreshadow Satan's plans. Let me explain what foreshadowing means. Foreshadowing means to give a hint or an indication about a future event. To give a sign, an indication, a hint about a future event. Satan always or many times foreshadows his plans. He always gives indications to his plans before they are carried out. I'll give you examples of an event in which the devil which the devil foreshadowed before it happened. Two events. I'll give you two examples. Now look at this picture. This picture is a cover page of a book entitled The Eyes of Darkness. This book was written, was released in the year 1981. Please remember that year. And it was written by a man called Dean Kuntis. Now, this book is about a, an experiment of a virus. There is an experiment which was done by doctors. According to the, the book, this experiment was done in the Nevada desert in America. 
and the doctors which were there were experimenting a virus upon people and among the doctors which were there was a Chinese doctor. Now I'm thinking to what I read from this novel. So these people were experimenting a virus on, on people and according to the writer, the writer says this virus was brought from China by this Chinese doctor. And in this novel, they mention, the writer mentions that the virus came from China in a laboratory found in Wuhan. Mm, do you hear that? The writer mentions that this virus came from a laboratory in China taken to America in and experimented in a laboratory in the Nevada desert. Now listen, look at this follow the following. Bit. Now look at the other example. Look at this picture. This is a cover of a movie which was released in 2011. And the title of the movie is The Contagion. Now, if you have not seen this movie, you can watch it. It is still on YouTube. Now, this, this movie, in this movie, it is about a virus which spreads in the entire world. And this virus is a virus like coronavirus. It's like COVID virus. And like the novel, this virus in this movie originates from China, originates from a library, a laboratory in China. Now the question is, is it a coincidence that the movie and the novel talks about a virus experiment, a virus which comes from China? And they both predicted and they pointed to China and America as being responsible for the virus. And today we are in a pandemic that was predicted in the movie and in the novel. It is not a coincidence the same countries are fingered today as the people responsible for the pandemic. I want to tell you, my brothers and sisters, that the devil has in the recent times foreshadowed the coming Sabbath conflict. Did you see the movie? There is a movie which is called The Tomorrow War. This movie was released on the 2nd of July, 2021, The Tomorrow War. Now, this movie is about human beings fighting aliens which are coming to invade the Earth. And these aliens have a female leader. All these aliens are called the White Spikes. White Spikes. What an interesting name. The aliens have a day of rest, which is called the Sabbath. According to the movie, this, these aliens should be killed on their day of rest, which is the Sabbath. While they are resting, they should be killed. Now, they say these aliens should be killed in the year 20. 22. Now, if you watch this movie, you'll see that it is about soldiers or human beings who go into the future to fight the aliens which were coming to invade the Earth. Every six days, the white spikes disappear. They crawl back into their nests. We call the Sabbath their day of rest. And that's when we insert troops.
Now, they say these aliens are hard to kill and they are only vulnerable on their neck and their throat. That's why we see in the movie that in the, the main actor and the co-actor, they devise a plan to come up with a poison which should be injected in the aliens. Now, as the movie, the movie progresses, there is a time where this woman, the main actor, this woman in the picture and the main actor talk in a laboratory and the main actor asks the woman about what he can do to help. And then he decides to prepare a meal for the both of them. Now, as this man comes to the woman, he brings two boxes of food and asks the woman of which one to cook. He presents the first one and the other one, which is a vegetarian meal. And the lady responds to the manicta by saying, vegetarianism is a sign of the end. Mm. This movie, dear brothers and sisters, foreshadows the Sabbath conflict which is coming. Now, I want us to analyze, analyze what they are saying about this movie. Now, they say the aliens are hard to kill. Who do you think the, the aliens are? Because these aliens keep the Sabbath. These aliens rest on the Sabbath. These aliens have a female leader. These aliens are called the white spikes. Without a doubt, you can clearly see that these, this movie is about Seventh-day Adventists. It's about Christians who keep the true Sabbath of God. Now, why am I saying this? They say these aliens, these aliens have a leader who is a female. It is not a coincidence that the Seventh-day Adventist church was found and what, many years ago and one of the founders of this movement is a female called Ellen White. It is not a coincidence that this, this movie has aliens which are called the White Spikes and their leader is a female. Indeed, you can see that they are talking about Adventists because they say the aliens have a day of rest called the Sabbath. This is a future crisis. This is a future conflict which will happen very soon, dear brothers and sisters, to them who shall keep the true Sabbath of God, which is the seventh day of the week, not Sunday. The devil is showing you and I what is planning to do in the near future. They say these aliens are hard to kill. Indeed, Seventh-day Adventists who have received the truth of God and those who have been sealed in the truth of God are hard people to kill. They don't fear death. They don't fear anybody in regards when it comes to the teaching of the truth. They are ready to die for the truth which they have received from Jesus Christ. Indeed, they are hard people to kill. They say the only, the only way they can be killed is by shooting on their necks and cutting their throat. And the devil has shown us that indeed there is a plan which is coming. There is a war which will be, which will be put upon, which will be, which will be fought against the children of God who keep the Sabbath truth. Those who have the Sabbath and they keep the Sabbath truth. They say the aliens must be injected with the poison which was made in the laboratory. 
brothers and sisters, indeed a crisis on the Sabbath is coming, a conflict is coming, and the devil is going to wage war upon all the people who could continue to keep the true Sabbath in these last days. And in the movie they say, this, the vegetarianism is a sign of the end. Indeed, it is a sign of the end. For we are advised to go back to the original diet which God gave from the beginning. And it is indeed the Seventh-day Adventist Church which encouraged its members, which encouraged the world to go back to vegetarianism in the last days in which we live. It is not a coincidence that they have said these things in the movie. It is the devil foreshadowing all his plans, all the wars he is planning to wage against those who keep the true Sabbath. Dear viewers, I want you to look at what Pope Francis said recently. Pope Francis said recently, this is Rome reports. It was on the 4th of August 2021 and it says, Pope warns against movements that reduce the entire gospel to their own charism. Mm. Let's hear, let's listen to what he says. He continues to say, We have seen many times in history, and even today, certain movements that preach the gospel in their own way, sometimes with true and unique charisms, but they later exaggerate and reduce the entire gospel of Christ to their own movement. And this is not the gospel of Christ. Listen to this. He says, this is their founder's gospel. Mm. Did you hear that? The Pope says, this gospel preached by a certain group, a certain movement, is not the gospel of Christ, but their leaders or their founder's gospel. This is clearly referring to to the SDA movement because the SDA movement has a unique message, a message to prepare a world to meet Christ. It also has a message to teach people the true Sabbath, the true Sabbath on which, a day on which the whole world must worship. But the devil says when through the Pope, the Pope says that when you keep you preach a message to tell people about the true Sabbath. He says that is the Adventist leader's message. Why is he saying so? The Pope knows about the Seventh-day Adventist movement. That's why he is speaking like this. He knows that at the beginning of the movement of Adventist church, the people who found it, they found the Sabbath truth and they preached in the entire world about the Sabbath truth which they discovered. These people were Methodists. These people came to Sunday churches and they found the Sabbath truth and they preached it with power. And today the Pope is saying, when you preach to people about the Sabbath, you tell them the Sabbath truth, you are preaching the Adventist truth church leader or founder. It is not a coincidence, dear brothers and sisters, why that the Pope is speaking like this and the movie is telling us all that we have reviewed. Indeed, the devil is preparing a war which is going to wage upon those who keep the true Bible Sabbath, which is the seventh day, week, day of the week. For all the Seventh-day Adventists and all Christians in the world who don't keep the Sabbath, the Bible Sabbath, should wake up and see the signs which are happening in the world. Indeed, this is a, a wake-up call for all Christians in the world. 
The Pope is against the people who are teaching the world about the true Sabbath, which is the seventh day of the week, which is Saturday. The Pope is not happy because he knows that when people worship God on the Sabbath, are worshiping their own God the right way, and the devil is not happy with that. All Christians, whether you are a Catholic, whether you are a Pentecostal, whether you are a Methodist, an Evangelical Lutheran, you should know that the final great conflict before Christ comes is going to be about true and false worship. It is going to be about the Sabbath or Sunday worship. And when you worship, you show where you belong. You show who you are loyal to, whether on Sabbath or Saturday, Sunday. The question which I want us to address is this. Why is the Sabbath and worship a point of conflict in these last days? Let's go to Revelation chapter 14. If you read Revelation chapter 14 from verse number 6, men and women and all the people on this earth are called upon to worship the Creator. You must know the devil also wants worship. But in Revelation chapter 14, all people, all nations, all tribes, all tongues are called to worship the Creator, God. Our duty to worship God is based upon the fact that He is the Creator and all are created beings. All the beings, all the human beings were created by Him. Look at Psalm number 100, verse number 3. And it says, Know ye that the Lord, He is God. It is He that has made us and not we ourselves. We are His people and the sheep of His pasture. Amen. Look at Psalm 95, verse number 6. It says, Oh, come, let us worship. Come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord, our Maker. Amen. We should come and worship God. We should bow down before God because He is our Maker. He is our Maker. So the duty to worship God is because he made us. He created us. He is the creator of all humankind, of all things. The big and small things were created by God. The importance of the Sabbath day is that it is a memorial it is a memorial of creation. It teaches us or it reminds us that worship, true worship, is the reason why creation is the reason why true, true worship is, is for God alone. The Sabbath reminds us we were created by God. It reminds us there is a creator who created us and we are his creatures. The Sabbath only, the Sabbath day reminds us. Brothers and sisters, dear viewers, you must know that Satan also wants worship. God said, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. But Satan says, no, even Sunday you can remember and keep it holy. It is Satan who introduced Sunday as the day of worship to fight against God's Sabbath. Remember that Satan always wants worship. In heaven, he always wanted, before he was just to this planet, he wanted to be like God. He wanted to be even higher than God. So worshiping 
on the Sabbath or worshiping on, on Sunday shows who you are loyal to. The creator of heaven and earth and the fountains of waters or the creator of lies. Who are you loyal to? Are you loyal to God by keeping his Sabbath, Saturday, the seventh day of the week? Or you are loyal to Satan by keeping his day, Sunday? Dear brothers and sisters, it is about time that we realize that the final conflict will be about worship. The worship of the true God or the worship of the God of this world, the father of lies, the father of counterfeits. It is your choice. It is your choice that you will make to show who you are loyal. In John, Jesus said, other, I have other sheep who are not of this who are not of this fold and i will call them they will hear my voice the question is are you listening how are you willing to be called by christ that you come out of false worship and follow christ to worship him in the way he said from the beginning of his world Christ says in Revelation chapter 18, verse number 4. Look at this. He says, Come out of her, my people. Christ wants people to come out of Babylon, to come out of false worship and follow the, the true worship. The worship which he gave from the beginning of the world, where he said, You should remember, you should keep the Sabbath holy. May God bless you for following. May God bless you for listening. Amen.